Your first assignment, surprise, surprise, is going to be a writing assignment for this quarter. And I hope you can see this. <laughs> um, it's technical writing. Technical writing is actually a profession. And I think it's a profession here. I know it's a profession in the United States uh, where you can make a living writing uh, things like step-by-step -step, step instructions on how to put something together, recipes, um, let's see what else. You can write the stuff that goes on a package. Um, I did have a job writing things like that at one point. I actually wrote the, all the words that go on the package of Hebrew National Hot Dogs and um, some precious moments figurines. I don't know if you're familiar with those. I don't really like them, but I sold them with my words because it takes um, good words um, in addition to good pictures and good salesmanship techniques to sell things. Um, so, technical writing. This assignment is going to be to give step-by-step -step instructions. And it says uh, to write an email to a particular audience. I want you to make sure and go through each step one step at a time. Do not sit down and just write something because you probably will not guess correctly exactly what I want you to do. And if you were to have this career, you would have to follow explicit examples, sometimes examples that don't even make sense or seem right to you. Um, because the customer is always right. Um, Let's see, you must do the steps in order. So first step is pre-writing. Pre-writing, um, in this case, is going to be figure out your subject, occasion, audience, and purpose. And get that approved by me before you draft your email. So in, um, in a copywriting office, you would have to do something like that and submit it to your boss in order to be chosen as the one to actually write the copy and get paid for it. So this would be like your proposal to me as your boss. Okay, so um, get that approved by me before doing a rough draft. I will probably approve it, more than likely. Uh, there could be a few cases where I'm going, that's not gonna work, but I'll probably approve it and then you can go on and write your paper. This is how I want you to do. So I have S-O-A-P for subject, occasion, audience, and purpose. Here's an example. How to set up Messenger and use it for video calls. That is a subject, okay, that you might write about. There are many things that you could possibly write about. How to um, hang a, a smart TV on the wall and set it up for watching Netflix. Um, things like that. I want you to do something practical not not anything like how to be a good person to give advice to your friends, nothing like that. I want it to be very practical, something that could be called technical writing. Um, so this is an example, how to set up Messenger and use it for video calls. Occasion, pandemic, quarantine. So the occasion is why you're even writing these instructions in the first place. And in this case, I'm thinking, okay, I'm doing it, the occasion is that I can't talk with my grandfather, who's the audience. I can't talk with my grandfather face to face because I'm in quarantine or because of the pandemic, we have to limit our contact with people, especially vulnerable people. So if your grandfather has some kind of pre-existing condition, he probably shouldn't be exposed to very many people. Kind of like that. And then the purpose is so that we can chat face to face because I want to talk with my grandfather face to face and he wants to talk with me. Um, I, okay. So step two, after you've gotten your pre-writing approved by me, this is all pre-writing is here and it's going to be worth five points. This quarter, everything's going to be worth five points. I think I've already told you that. Uh, step two, drafting, considering your pre-writing write an email salutation so in this case it'd be dear grandpa or i could even say hey gramps you know because it's very informal because my grandfather is not somebody i need to impress professionally um 
uh, introduction paragraph, talk about the situation, identify the task, um, could be like what you need to do before you even start, you know, kind of thing. Um, so introduction paragraph, then step by step by step. Okay, your steps can be numbered one, two, three, four, especially if they need to be done in a certain order, one, two, three, four, or they can be bulleted. In this case, I bulleted them, and they, that's what these little dots are called. They're called bullets. Okay, there are different styles of bullets. They can be dots, they can be little squares, they can be several different things. And on your word processor, you will probably see that there are different styles of bullets. They can be either numbered or bulleted. I want you to have 10 to 15 steps. So if it's a four step process, like the writing process that you wanna to explain to someone, that's not enough. So I want you to have at least 10 steps Probably not more than 15 because I don't want this to be super long. Uh, 10 to 15 steps. Each imperative, so what that means is each one of them should begin with a verb telling the person what to do. Turn on your television um, or like um, measure um, how far it is from where you're gonna put the television to the floor or something like that. So it's gonna start out with a verb. Turn on, measure, cut, you know, um, take out, something like that. Um, so yeah, that means each, each imperative. Imperative sentences have understood subjects. We already went through that. Um, in these steps, don't make your reader guess what to do. If your reader has to guess what to do, then that should be a step, what the reader had to guess. Um, so like if you're making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, if you forgot to say um, in your materials that you needed a knife or a spoon, don't make your reader guess about things like that. Um, or if you forgot to say, turn on your cell phone to your grandfather, you might have to put that, okay? Don't make anybody guess about anything, okay? Start with materials if necessary. If you have to gather materials, if you're building a birdhouse, you'll probably have to gather scrap wood, nails, hammer, different things. Um, and then end with what to do when done. So now you can enjoy wonderful phone calls with me, your granddaughter, okay? Um, and so that can be kind of like that. It can be a step. It could be your last step, what to do when done. Uh, conclusion paragraph is the goal or purpose or future that you're looking forward to. So the so in mine up here, my example up here, um, hopefully now, Grandpa, you'll be able to call me and we can talk face to face. I look forward so much to being able to see you when I talk to you because I love your facial expressions and it's just not the same on the telephone. Kind of like that. And then remember you're writing a letter. This is personal, okay? And then closing example, your friend blank. So I'm writing instructions to my friend on how to take care of my chickens while I'm on vacation. Then I'm gonna say, your friend Kathy. Um, if I'm writing to my grandfather, I could say, with love, Kathy, okay? Um, don't do revisions without watching the video. Last quarter, both times we had writing assignments, I was not super happy with the revisions for most of you, especially the second time when we did revisions, it was a whole separate assignment and it was worth seven points. And some people made like two corrections and they didn't number them like I was telling you to do. And I want you to follow the instructions explicitly, not just for your pre-writing, not just for your drafting, not just for your final draft, but also for your revisions. Wait for those instructions before you do revisions. I mean, you can do some revisions as you go on your rough draft or whatever, but don't turn that in because I'm gonna have you probably number things again and I will try to explain it again in a way that everybody can understand. So hopefully this is enough to get you started. I will give you a few more examples on topics that you could write about in the comments or in the, or in the assignment. Um, yeah, it'll be there. <laughs> Um, and maybe that'll get you start started thinking what you could write instructions about. Happy writing!